welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we are going to see what is swept boss base how it is it will use and how it is going to be used in SOLIDWORKS so let's see first create uh, we will see first we will create one geometry so select a plane a sketch go to sketch select one circle okay now exit from this sketch now select okay right plane also okay front plane also okay okay front plane is better so we will choose one front plane and we will draw we want to expand we want to sweep this board in different direction this circle in different direction so we will create path for it which path we want to so select front plane sketch select normal now this is front plane selected now we will choose a spline you can choose line also but we will choose a spline and draw some geometry this is line you can expand any okay now this is the our line you can expand your line in any direction it's up to you then you can choose a line and draw a line also here ok now exit from the sketch now go to feature and select this 3d tool swift boss base now see your line is selected see sketch 2 path is selected now only we have to select profile so this circle is our profile just click on circle see the geometry going to take a shape like this this is exactly called swift boss base in option it is written follow path twist along path it is different we will see in our letter uh, kept normal it will be looks like this but for this follow path it is better option select ok see our body is created with the help of swift boss base along with path right click sketch uh, these are the guide curve if there are multiple number of uh, path is there so we have to select it here we will see in our next uh, coming tutorial it is quite advanced and this is also a quite advanced so we will see next lecture uh, just delete it and we will see one more feature we will little expand it ok now again we will select sketch this path and select shift to boss now see and select our profile see it is going to expand and here one more option thin feature select thin feature and uh, select outside or inside it is up to you or uh, choose 0 0.05 mm ok this thickness is better see the thickness you can let's make 0 0.5 mm or oh, this also ok no it's much bigger if 1 mm 
it is also not accepting so 0.5 is also enough so this is see this is a hollow pipe it's kind of a pipe it's kind of a pipe we are going to draw so this is the feature thin inside and outside this geometry is not compatible that's why it's showing because this diameter is bigger select ok so see this is our hollow pipe is created so this is the basic function of swift to boss based tool it is very helpful tool i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and don't forget to share and like the videos and subscribe our channel for more videos and more projects